It's Kiahi, Kiahi's Creations. So today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make uh, one of my diaper creations. I'm going to attempt to make a diaper jeep today. This will be the first time I'm attempting to make it, so we'll see how it turns out. Um, so the things that you're going to need to make the diaper jeep, three receiving blankets, these are three burp cloths, so usually I either use burp cloths or receiving blankets. I'm going to have two hooded towels, the kind of the little flaps. I have two different hooded towels. I also have four washcloths. Then two bibs. Um, I may only use one, but I have two just in case. Not sure if I'm going to use the other one. I have the newborn diapers. I like to usually get newborn or um, size one. Even the diaper cakes, usually I give it during baby shower, so I want them to be able to use those diapers right away. First, the pack I bought is 88. I always like to have a little bit extra. If you have extra, you could make like a base out of it, or even just give it to the parents. But, but it's up to you if you want to use bigger sizes. Um, this particular pack of diapers that I bought, it comes with a pack of wipes, so I'm also probably going to try to use that for the front somehow. So the thing about diaper creations, you can kind of um, get creative with what you do have. So if you didn't have the wipes, I would say you could probably still use um, other diapers. This could be like maybe five to six. Eight maybe diapers would make the same size. I've also seen some people use up the little bottle washing cases or racks, so those could probably work too. Bought a little toy since it's gonna be a truck or a Jeep. I bought some toy keys, actually, a um, teething toy. I may attempt to hang them, or I'm not really sure yet, but we'll see. I usually try to get one toy or stuffed animal. Um, this is probably gonna be the driver, so I try to get a small one that's a rattle sit right in the driver's seat. Got two big keys here. These are gonna go um, where the headlights are. But you might want some of them come with cases. This one didn't so I actually just kept the little plastic part. I cut it out of the wrapping um, to keep it just to protect the little the little rubber part that's covered. Otherwise you could just have it um, open or if it comes in the cover then that's good. Some of the things you're gonna need basic material so I have tape. tape this is just regular scotch tape or transparent tape I have some rubber bands I usually have a lot more rubber bands so I might have to grab some more of course scissors and then for this particular project I'm actually going to use the box that the diapers came in to make a uh, to make the structure so this is the box so we're going to just cut out some of the cardboard from this box to make the um, probably the bed possibly the hood if I need it more stiff and then some of the bars that go up over the top. Alright so we're gonna get started. The first thing I'm gonna make are the wheels. Since these are newborn diapers they are a little smaller you can see that if you use bigger diapers um, the mass of the wheel is easier to make and they're longer. So you can have two different options for making your wheels. Well two different options that I typically use. So the first I'm going to show you is a spiral. Sometimes it helps to have something circular like a pad or a cover. Um, some people have like box tops specifically made for this reason. But you're going to grab your um, diapers. I'm thinking I'm probably going to use about maybe about 14 diapers in one wheel just so they're a little bigger since I have the newborn diapers. Uh, this is seven here, so put it together would be too stacked. So to make uh, the spiral, what you're gonna do is each diaper is gonna go kind of like in one long line. So you can lay it out like this. Just roll it up. And it creates a spiral kind of like that in the middle, if you can see. If you do it this way, you're going to want to put a rubber wrap band around the edge to keep it secure and hold it in place. Um, and like I said, if you have a cover, if you have a cover or something circular to put it in, it's actually a lot easier. So you can start to add to it. Like if you see something is loose, you can add more inside um, until it's the size that you like. So the other way that I like to um, make wheels is 
I rolled up one diaper. Rolled up one diaper like this and rubber bat it. And then you can put a bunch of these together to make one big circle. You're gonna do it this way, like I said, you might want a lot of rubber bands. So I just take the um, open frayed part of the diaper and tuck it in. Make a nice little tight roll there. The rubber band. And there you have one. So I'm gonna make, uh, like I said, about 14 of these and put it together to one wheel. Then once you have the whole bunch that you want, you just put it together to make one big tie. So you might, of course, want like at least one or two extra of all the rows together. To make one nice big tire like so. The cool thing about this option too, if you're going to um, make the little tire axis, it could go in the middle. So if you made a hole, there's the little uh, space in the middle, and that could go right in the center there. Okay, so I'm gonna roll my uh, first wheel. So here I have the first half rolled up. I just put the rubber band around the side. And you can start adding if you wanted to make it bigger. Just continuing where you left off. I just pull the rubber band out and then slip the next diaper in. So I'm just going to keep adding diapers in slowly until um, I use all 14 diapers your bike's large size. Just hold it up. Let's put the diaper in. And I'm going to just keep going until it's a nice big spiral. So that's my first that's my first wheel. This is the 14 diapers together. Just about the width. Okay. And you're just gonna do this four times for four wheels. So like I was mentioning earlier, if you want to do an access, that's how the hole would look like here. So you could just put um like a paper towel roll or um whatever bar you have right in the middle there. Would be like the axis of the wheel. All right, so I have my four wheels. They're massive. So two in the front and two in the back, just like this. Um, something else I know a lot of people like also. So these rubber bands, you can just leave them bare. Um, if you want a just a little bit more polished finish look, you could put a ribbon right over it to cover. Um, I'll probably be doing that in a second. So I cut the box. It's the box here. Remember earlier this figure, I just cut it in half. Um, one side is open, and the other side is back. This is gonna be the body of the truck. Can imagine the two sets of tires. The body's gonna sit right on top of it. Kind of like that. The body kind of has some options. If you want, you can buy other cardboard, um, so it's a little bit cleaner. Just like styrofoam. Um, I think that route would be lighter and also um, neater. But if you don't, uh, if you want to just save what you have or recycle, um, the diapers already come in this box, you know, so I'm just going to reuse it right as well. And it's perfect size, actually. Um, this is going to be where the front goes, up the hood, and this will be the back. I can imagine, like, the little trunk here. Some other things, um, I saved a few of the flaps. So you'll really, um, this is the flaps on the outside. I'm really only going to be using two. One is just to um, create the hood so it's a little flat when you're wrapping it. And then the second I'm going to use is kind of a divider for the seat. So right in the middle, I just put uh, two diapers right over it like this. And later it's going to be the seat so you can see it there inside. 
little there's the little uh, racks that go up and over on the jeep so I'm actually gonna just use this bit here to create that and if I have enough I think instead of um, trying to get paper towel rolls I'm gonna use the little excess to create the access for my wheel okay so I cut that last piece of cardboard so it kind of looks like this two little strips these are gonna go right over the top that's the bars of the jeep Okay, but I'll put this on the side and we'll get back to it later um, when we're starting to add details to the Jeep. Got the wheels, four of these wheels, and we got the body of the car. We're going to start um, assembling. So I'm going to wrap the wheel with some ribbon just to make it a little neater. So I have some blue ribbon here. Uh, the baby shower I'm going to today is for a boy. So that's why everything is going to be a little bit blue, green, got some oranges. Then you have some options. Um, depending on the way you want, your product to be finished. You can use tape, um, double-sided tape. You can also use safety pins to clip things into place. Um, I think the safety pins probably look the neatest. I don't normally use it though in case, just because it's uh, in case the baby touches it. I don't know. But hopefully the parent takes the safety pins out. Um, and then of course rubber bands. I always use rubber bands for everything, but um, the ribbon just helps to hide the rubber bands a little bit so you can't see it. Today I'm just going to use a little bit of tape. Just makes it look a lot nicer, right? With it uh, covering the rubber band a bit. I'm going to go ahead and do that to all four now. I've got my four wheels wrapped. You can put this inside the body to check, but I'm going to start making what's going to um, the hood. Like I said, you have some options. It's up to you how you want to do. I'm going to try to use everything. So I think I'm going to use um, the wipes as kind of like a seat. And then right in the front here, we're going to make the grill and um, the headlights. Like earlier, like I showed you, I just took one diaper and rolled it up. And then I can take a second one here just to thicken it up a bit. When you get to the edge, I like to just tuck this little flap here under so it looks neater. You can secure it with a rubber band. So you're gonna do this four time for the four lights. Just on either side here like that. Okay, so that's the four lights. So you have some options how you want the front to be. If you want, you could just do a stack of diapers to make the front like this. Um, it's gonna get covered anyways by a blanket. So it could be the front like this. Or if you wanna kind of do something creative, like making the grill since it is a Jeep, be about seven and you can alternate the diapers coming in and out just to kind of create an effect so I'll make this one come out uh i'll make this one out pushing the next one in pull the next one out and alternate so out and in and if you can see it there it kind of looks like a grill i'm just going to push it to the edge so it's off the cardboard so later you can't really see the cardboard as much so what I am going to do is I'm going to wrap these bottom lights though with um, with a washcloth. But in the top, um, I'm actually going to put the binkies. Okay, so that's how the lights look. Adds a nice little color around the rim there. The washcloth, you just fold it in half. And then take the diapers, put it inside and roll it. and I just secure it with another rubber band. So these are the lights that go on the bottom. Okay. These top lights go here. At the very end, after it's finished, what I'm gonna do is just pop in the binky in the middle here. That'll be like the lights. Okay, so now that we have the grill and the lights, probably add one, maybe one more diaper just to make it a little bit higher. Yeah. yeah, so I just put two more diapers here just to make it a little thicker. And like I said, I saved one of the lids here just to create like a hard surface. So after when we're going to wrap it with a blanket, it'll be nice and flat. So that's the front. And then right behind it, like I said, I'm going to put the wipes right there like a seat. Okay, so now that we have this, I'm actually going to wrap around the sides here. So you're, I'm going to take one of my hooded blankets here. Just wrap around the edge so you can measure. I think I'm gonna fold it into thirds just so it 
is exactly the same size, maybe fourths for this one. This is the hooded towel, I folded it into fourths at the long way. This is gonna go right over this top part here, the grill. Here. And then the other hooded towel, you're gonna do the same thing, but it's gonna wrap around the side here. Okay, so I got the two hooded towels. They're both folded long ways and fourths. Ooh, that might work. Just play with it to see something that works. So you just want to secure this in place. I'm going to use some tape. And then the other one's going to come right over the side here. So what I'm doing is just letting mine hang over the edge a bit, like this side. And then I'm going to tape it in. You can clip it. Maybe some paper clips you can just put here if you want. Right here, especially because the other um, towel is going to come right over it. Right after, I'm also going to take the bottom down for now. See, so this is going around the perimeter. You can kind of make it neater too if you want it. Okay, so it should come right over the top here and see how this cardboard helps it to be really nice and flat. And then I'm just going to tuck these other bits right underneath. And then you can secure it again, um, tape, paper clips, safety pins, up to you. So I just kind of tucked these in just a little. Right. This is the girl, like I said, so you're just going to alternate them just for a closer look so you see. So where I tape, I tape underneath like this, just so it's not visible. That's how it looks like now. Pretty nice, right? So there's the grill, the lights. I'm gonna put in the seats. So remember earlier, I took one of the flaps. And I just put two of these diapers right over. They kind of look like the little seats. So I'm just gonna tuck it in right behind um, my wipes here that I put in. Grab your one of the bibs. I'm gonna use this cute one with the bow, I think. This is gonna be the hood. So you just lay it flat right over the top here. In the back end, you're gonna tuck underneath this cardboard that you used earlier. Here, I just tucked it right underneath the cardboard. It stays nice and neat. And there's the hood. The axis of the tires. Um, I'm gonna makeshift some bars, like I said, out of the cardboard. So I just got one of the cardboard lids, and then we cut it into little thirds, just little notches on the side, if you can see. So I a third in and two thirds in. And then what you're gonna do is just fold it along those ridges. So you can see where I cut, I folded it. You don't have to secure this if you don't want to. I'm going to just make it a little neater. I'm gonna secure it with some tape. And then over the middle, I'm actually going to wrap um, that two extra washcloths that we have, just to make it a little nicer. These are going to go right in between the tires. Get two of the tires. And then right in the middle, like I said, how there's the opening, that's where you're going to put the access. Nice. Just center it. You can make it as close or far as you like. I kind of want it to show a little, so it looks like a truck. And then taking one of my extra washcloths, I'll probably fold it in half here. Maybe in thirds. Uh, maybe in third. That's gonna go right around the axle like this. I'm gonna rotate it so the tape's on the bottom side. And there you go. So once you have the tires set up, they kind of look like this. You can grab the body and put it right on top. I think since I have an extra um, bib, I'm going to just put this laid in the back so it's almost like the, the bed of the truck. So I'm just using it to line the bed in the back. The thing I'm going to make is just some of the bars that go over the truck. So um, earlier we cut this piece. I'm going to use the um, 
receiving blankets or burp cloths that we bought. So I'm gonna use two of those burp cloths and just cover this one. Ooh, I hope it's long enough. It's a little bit short, so what I'm gonna do is put it at an angle here since it's um, not long the other way. I'm gonna tuck the little corners in now so they're a little bit more secure later. There we go. So that's our first bar. Just wrapped it. Nice. Let's make the other one. Alright, so I just finished both my bars. Now we're going to attach them to the truck. I think next time I'll probably make this a little longer because then you could just tuck it right inside. If you see on the side of the truck, you could tuck it in the inside and it'll stand. I made it a bit short, so I think what I'm going to do is on the top of the edge, I'm actually going to just tape it in place just like that. Okay, so I attached the bars here. Um, I touched the bars here. I actually added some chopsticks here for extra support. You could probably do this prior to wrapping yet, just so it's covered up. But I'm probably going to leave it like that until I get to the party, just so they stand up. But that's what the bars look like. I'm going to put the rattle in here. It'll be like the little driver. The driver there. So cute. Sitting there in a seat. I got another piece of cardboard, so this is actually one of the free boxes I get from the postal service. And I covered the box with the last burp cloth or blanket. And this is going to be my base. You can get something a little bit thicker so that it doesn't break, but I'm going to actually just put the truck on top of this. Um, this part is, I can carry it, and this is really cute because this one has like little cars on it. So. Okay, so I got the bars in. It's starting to come together. These are kind of like the finishing touches here, you can see. So that's the front. Just put the bars and then I put the little guy in there as the driver and I'm just not cute. And the last touch I just want to put those binkies in like to make kind of the headlights here on the top. I'm just kind of creating a hole here in the middle. The binky. Just pushed it in right there like that. And so that's our finished product. So you could add like the nice little license plate if you like, something fun. I'm probably gonna do that later. Um, I'm gonna buy a tag and then uh, write baby's name on it and put it right in the back there. And there we go. How about a diaper Jeep? Just for a close up, you can see the headlights, the grill, the tires here. Um, these are the bars he made. The little guy, oh, let's put him back on his seat. Thanks for tuning in this week. Subscribe and follow us at Kiahi Creations to get new DIY and tutorial content. Follow us at Twitter at Kiahi Creations for new updates.